so what's up guys how are you doing i hope you're fine so welcome to this tutorial again today i'm going to show you how you can create a map in quantum gis and then export it as an image and then share it with someone or print it let's dive into the tutorial so as i promised you last time i'm going to continue from where we stopped last time we were able to digitize out these features from this aerial image and then right now we want to make a what a map from this the first thing i'm going to do is to label these features such that they can be easily distinguished so i come to the roads i click properties and then I come to labels, single labels. Then I select the name attribute and then I say apply. As you see, our roads have been labeled. And I say okay. And then I also come to settlements. I do the same things. Yeah, single labels, and then name. Then I apply. And then, for these villages, since they are black, I am going to change the color of the words to red. As you can see, let me select red, then I apply. So the next thing is to come to projects and then new print layout and then give it a name, for example, map. Yeah. And then it will open. Depending on which page you need, you can right click here and then select page properties. You can select an A3 or an A4 or whatever size you need. But for me, I'm going to take an A4. Yeah. And then select this icon which will add a new map and then you draw it like this and then what you can do you can try to change its scale here is it is scale it is this so you can try to make it bigger by changing the scale yeah I think this is fine I can move it wherever I want using this. Let me center it here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to add a what? A frame. So I come here to frame. Then I add a frame. Yeah. And then after adding the frame, I'm going to add the title. To add the title, I come to this text, this one, click it. Then I come here. This is where I input my text. I'm going to say a map of I'm going to call it Kasubi. Yeah. This is not Kasubi, I'm just using the name Kasubi. And then I come to font, I'll select times, I'll choose a size, it will be 16, let me see. Let me change the size to something like 28, and I say OK. It is still small, and let me make it 48. Yeah, I think that is relatively fine. And then after there, I am going to add this. Yes. So to add a compass, I come to this picture. Then I 
select where I want my compass to be and then I come this side to the picture properties and then I select search directories and then it will search for me and then it will bring for me a number of what number of icons so I can select this as my compass and I will try to resize it yeah so let me add a legend to add the legend I click here then I draw here as you see this legend is automatic but you can exclude some things you just click on it and then actually before you click on it you untick auto update so when you click these slices you remove it and then the rest I can leave them as they are so I'll put it here I'll put it there as my legend yeah so what else haven't I put mm. oh let me put some grids to put some grids you come to grids you click this add select that grid modify grid and then select the interval remember we can also change the coordinate system from here yeah but me I'll use the default one so what I'm going to do is to input the what the grids the interval is still big let me use this okay let me use this I think that is fine then I can also add this oh it is Oh, let me check 400 yeah So to export this map, you can export it as a PDF for an image. You just come to layout, export as image or export as PDF. To export as image, you click here and then you select where I want to export your map. I'll select here and I'll export it there and I'll say save. Actually, when I come and I open here I have my map as you are going to see it yeah that is my map that I have been able to make it is a simple map I've made but you can make a more sophisticated and better map so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then see you in the next tutorial